Hare Krishna. Maharaj said before very nicely that because the question was should we, should we give up everything what we do and leave everything immediately and become peaceful and Maharaj said very nicely if you swim in the ocean and it's very wild around you, you you might want to come to the shore immediately but you still have to swim so you cannot leave your duties immediately duty become more intense because when there is a relation then more responsibility and more duty. More when, duty. More duty. When there is no relation, no duties. <laughs> and we under pressure we do the duties. Relation means you are my, all my duty. You see in Vrindavan, all Upashna is in you, you are my. And our Acharya teach us like this. He is yours, take care of everything. Duty worshipping is your mind. I will care you. I will cook for you. I will dress you. I will give love. If hot season will come, I will fan you. When cold will come, I will make heating for you. Because you are mine. More response. Love makes more responsibility. You have to work more hard for that. Day and night Maharaj is working to make the temple because he is in love with Radha Govinda. <coughs> he don't care, his health become down. He become weak. You see, two years before he was very strong. <laughs> he has become weak, he don't bother. This is the Love, sharing, devotion, love in action. Yes, my dear. Was it, was it King Katwanga who gave up everything in just one moment? King Katwanga? Mm. Was it King Katwanga? Mm. I don't remember the name. Who was that Mahatma? Well, the short description in Bhagavata about King Katwanga. He, uh, Parikshit Maharaj gifted example to Sugadev gave the example to Barikshit because only seven days time before they had to discuss. He said, no, Manga Maharaj only one muhurta means 48 minutes time. And he asked the demigods because he fight for them. Do what, okay, you give one boon to me. So I want to know how long I live. They say only one muhurta. They say, oh, one muhurta what I want. Better to immediately render to Govinda. I want only Govinda, and he surrendered and makes success for his life. There's not so much uh, described about this history, only that is Bhagavad Gita. Srimad Bhagavad is an example of different type of devotees, bhaktas, how they behave and how they get it, in which mood they receive the mass. Hmm? So, these are the 
many different ways of going. But the easiest way, this is yogi, the living and the so living, what living? Material thing living. And was taking lovers to take. Make love to him and be with him. Become mother or be with your son. Become friend or be with your friend. That's the point. That is the teaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You read Chaitanya Chaitanya You see the life of Jesus. Love goes in three relationships. Last Supper of Jesus is also friends there. Mother Maria is the love of mother there and the son and father. To understand condition, unconditional love is the goal of life. He do the unconditional love, he know in conditional love. But we ignorant people make it conditional love. Mm -hmm. So how it will be clear, huh? where I will get unconditional love? You cannot create from that circumstances. How you become conditional? You see him in the cross, <coughs> you make him conditional. Unconditional love is not with flesh. Soul to soul, soul to super soul is unconditional. He sacrificed for his father, we make that he sacrificed for us. We make conditional. Mm. We now see that love what he was intensely nearly giving to his father. So this is the, our problem that we unconditional love not want to go in to see. Unconditional love goes only with the soul and super soul. Divine is nothing with the material thing. It's not conditioned there. You do this, then I will do for you. Love means divine. It should be. Krishna comes to show this. Unconditional love, very, very crystal clear in our life. We don't need to come. He wants to show the motherly unconditional love. Motherly unconditional love. Krishna went to Dwaraka and Jashoda Maya is every moment thinking only for his son. Right? Never anything revances is there. Cold? Yes. <laughs> Outside <laughs> more cold. But I understand. We have to find out in our life unconditional love, what is the meaning and how it works, and practice in life. 
And this only can be possible by spiritual consciousness. Understand, my dear? Mm -hmm. you, have, you write me always email, but I give you an answer and you say, I don't understand. She's always, she's always flying high. <laughs> she's in always service. Once a year or her. This is a beautiful thing you do. Always invite nursing Rama. He is very kind and very merciful. <clears throat> I know his qualities. become in last, so I am start becoming tired. <laughs> it's a little cold also, I have some bad side. But it's not problem. Vrindavan, heart will change. Cold. <laughs> My dear? Uh, can you compare atmosphere of Radhashtami and Jamashtami? The value of Janmashtami in the heart of every living being. Everybody wants to connect to, to the God and know about God, Supreme God. So it's very important for all living things to act. When the Krishna appears in our heart, our all ignorance go out. Right? Without his appearance, without his mercy, appearance thing. Appear means he comes in my heart. He is, I start feeling him. But what I will do with him? Only looking to him or developing knowledge with him? What to do? What is my prayojan? What is the goal for me? He appears, he is waiting. He appears in your house, he is here. So what to do? When he appears inside you, what to do? Your love, your sharing, your offering, your thinking, that is devotion, that is love. 
and that love is coming from Radhika. He only pleased by love. <laughs> when you say love means Radha, <laughs> Prem means Radha, Rag means Radha, Bhakti means Radha. Bhakti, what is Bhakti? Bhakti has two sons. All, both become old in Vrindavan, <laughs> Jnana and Vailagya. Eh? Hmm. Why? Bhakti is the mother and Jnana and Vairagya is the son. Mother become young and Jnana and Vairagya become old. <laughs> in Vrindavan there is only Bhakti, no need of Jnana and no need of Vairagya. You stay in Vrindavan and you promise that I will do the Niyam Seva for Kartik Mas. Whole Kartik, you cannot follow your Niyam. What about other business? One month you cannot follow. Someday you have to break it, your Niyam, because there is no Vairagya. You cannot do. Someday, you see, in the in the in the Kartik mass, there is an unput function. Govardhan puja, and in Govardhan puja, everything is offering to Krishna, and then you take puja. When is the Kartik mass? <laughs> no, you cannot keep it. I try to do in the age of 30 is too much austerity and too much vairagya. But I cannot do it. After some time, it changes. And you feel the mercy in that, when you change for mercy. Vairagya means for, for suska, dry person who is attached with Krishna, he is very naughty. Naughtiness means something he will do that you cannot keep it. <laughs> See, this is mercy. And so many mercy who always give her kripa, motherly mercy. When you take shelter of so many, she feed you. Mother feed her breast. Feeding means I am ignorant. She teach how to feed, drink the milk. How to feeding? I baby don't know even where to my food is. Mother teach this is the place to feed. You have to shut like this. She press the milk in the mouth to test and then baby knows how to take it. So this way she teaches our bhakti, devotion, how to please Krishna. to never connection with mother. Every baby has never connection, right, with mother. Mm -hmm. So we have also never connection with Swami. Mm -hmm. Guru Kripa is good. Mm -hmm. Guru is the never connection of Swami. And we, if we connect, take the shelter of our Guru or Guru Dev, we get the naval connection. That is naval connection. Guru Ashra is the naval connection.
so who relies Krishna? He got the mercy of Krishna. Then Krishna said, if you want to do something, take the shelter of Radhika. To learn to serve his bhakti, to give prayer, then you see Vrindavan is the Radha has been very, very serious. You know this. You also go in there. The biggest function in Brinda, Brajma area is Radha. Highest Barsane. Only take the dust in Barsane in Radha. From so many days they are mad and doing only Peter. Every, you will see all who is really devoted to Krishna, they are in Radhasmi in Vrindavan. <coughs> they cannot leave Radhasmi. Vrindavan is a place for Radhasmi and out of Vrindavan place for Janmashmi. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Without Krishna you cannot understand Radha and without Radhika you cannot understand. When you say Radhe, Krishna become happy. And when you say Hare Krishna, Radhika become happy. <laughs> he opens the door to come Vrindavan. You see. In Eskon they teach you Hare Krishna. Why? That you can open your door of Vrindavan to go and to understand that. And Vrindavan, everyone say Radhe Radhe to please Krishna. Because the, Krishna happy when you say Radhe Radhe. Ek Dehi Do Pran. In one body, two souls, and two body. One soul. Abheda, Abheda, Tattva. Mahatma, Usaina. There is no difference. Bhakta make the difference to take the rasa. There are three kind of devotee. Visam, Sneha, some sneha, adik sneha. With some sneha, only they are devoted to Krishna. With some snehas, they cannot differentiate in between Dwarika mood, Matra mood, and Braj mood. <coughs> Where the Krishna he thinks, I am there. Some sneha, they want to be a Visham sneha, they want to be with Krishna, means they want to be with a friend or mother Lila also. They don't like conjugal love. They don't want to listen, they cannot. 
because they only want the sneha. Some sneha, they differentiate between Dwaraka Krishna, Matra Krishna, and Vrindavan Krishna. They like only some sneha, Radha's Krishna. Where Radhika is with Krishna, that Krishna is my Krishna. This is Samsara. Oh, Krishna with Radhika. Krishna with Jasoda Maya. Krishna with friends. They can accept this. But they need to some who do the similar life. <coughs> and one is Adik Sneha. Adik Sneha, they only want to worship Radhika. <coughs> they have no interest with Krishna. They only want to be servant of Radhika. <laughs> if Krishna said that you are my very close, come, I will show you no interest. Because they think Radhika is my friend. Radhika, I'm the servant of Radhika, and Radhika's friend is Krishna. So I have to be honest with Radhika. She will give me the center, and to please Radhika, I will go to Krishna to serve. This is Adik's name. And our Goswamis bring this message. We are Rupa Anuka. If you see the Rupa Goswami teaching, Raghunath Das Goswami, all six Goswamis, Mahaprabhu sent to Vrindavan to realize and teach about that. 